According to the popular proverb that charity begins at home, Mr. Ennis Abigbe, in company of his entourage, said he considered it expedient to start mobilization for his aspiration from his hometown, Eroyemi, in the eastern southeast local government area of Edo State, and at the palace of the NOJ, His Royal Highness, Lord Peter Agbonefo Usifu II. <laughs> Ma mio, e mi sono sentito. Ma allora, e mi sono sentito, 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 Israel Highness Lord Peter Ogenefo Sifo II commended the consistent charitable gesture of Mr. Abebe within a way and beyond and asked political parties to produce credible candidates for the next governorship election in the state. The people have spoken. Yes. Yeah, sir. Because the man we got is a man we regret. What must be, must be. So we have never had such a team in a way. So may God. Bless this young man for us so that we can also have something to lean on. The Big Bay also visited the Edo North Senatorial Office of the Labour Party to solicit for their support to emerge as the party flag bearer, where he enumerated his tick credentials that befit the office of the governor. For his educational presentation to us, which we have appreci appreciated him, and he has proved to us that uh, with all his seven point agenda. We know he's a better candidate that we rely on. We have encouraged him to continue to have cordial relationship with the donors. I think he has the capacity. Uh, I think he's fine and he's good to go. A new Nigeria and a new Endo state is possible. With his manifesto, I believe um, he's the choosing one. Because Very great. And I want to thank them for the warm reception. And they pay rap attention to our presentation, and they were very okay. I can tell you right now, by the special grace of God, 70%, I'm okay. Mr. Bigby also held some crucial meetings with stakeholders of the party within the district before departing. The, the talk continued. Emerson Edosa, ITV News.